Hey everyone, um, we are continually asked to show us preparing food, in particular pizza, because we eat a lot of pizzas here on Stephen Vlog. So I decided today I'm going to show you how to make a pizza. And today we're making salmon pizza, which we have never made before. And I'm going to be honest, it could totally suck. I have no idea. But I like experimenting and trying stuff, so we're going to try it. But if you want to make pizza our way, just follow it up until we put salmon on it. Then put whatever, whatever you want on it, because it's the same thing. The first thing you need is one of these. Is it required? No, not not really, but this is for pizza, so I generally use it. The next thing you'll need is crust. Uh, I buy Mama Mary's, it's at Walmart. You get two thin and crispy pizza crusts. I think also they have these at Costco, and at Costco it's a better deal because you get four and it actually comes with sauce. So if you get them at Costco, they have sauce. If you get them at Walmart, you're going to need sauce. If you need sauce, I recommend the Ragu Pizza Sauce. Mallory tends to enjoy this a little bit more than the Great Value brand. Personally, they all taste the same to me, but this is like 10 cents more, so it's about the same. You're also going to need mozzarella. We buy five-pound bags, but that's because we eat a lot of pizza. Other than that, you'll need your toppings, in our case, salmon. And this particular salmon is... Atlantic Salmon Center Cut Filets. We get this at Sands. Once again, this could suck. I have no idea. Um, but, you know, use whatever else you want. We tend to normally use these Hormel pepperonis. The, these things last forever. If you just want pepperoni pizza, th I think this is like $3 or something, and it'll make a ton of pizzas. My favorite kind of pizza is pepperoni and mushroom, and you can get these great value sliced mushrooms for like 70 cents or something, so pizza's relatively inexpensive, and uh, that's what I like to put on it. But we're doing salmon. You're also going to need an oven, but if you didn't know that, I mean, I'm sorry for you. The first thing you're going to want to do is decide if you want to cook it on the rack or not. If you cook it on the rack, it's going to be crispier. I like doing it on the rack. We only recently started doing it like that. If you want to do it on the rack, you want to do it at 375, and you're going to leave it in there for like 15, 16 minutes. Otherwise, you can cook it right on the pizza tray, and I usually do it at 425 for like 8 minutes. But I like it crispy, so we're going to do it at 375. All right, so we got our pizza crust laid out here, and uh, obviously if you're going to cook it on this thing and put it in the oven, then you'd want to spray this down with something. I've already washed my hands, which you should do before handling food. Uh, and then we're just going to spoon some of this stuff out here. I normally do about 10, and that's pretty much the rest of this thing. This will make about roughly three pizzas if you're using 10 scoops. Then I do this, and uh, there's actually something to note here. I used to actually push the toppings and the sauce out to the edge, which is fine if you're going to make it on this thing. But if you're going to do it on the rack like we normally do, you can't do that because then it falls onto the burner and it makes smoke and a mess. So And your wife has to clean the oven then. Yeah, and then you make your wife clean the oven. So you <laughs> basically need to not not do that if you're going to put it on the uh, on the rack itself. Next up is the cheese. All right, so that looks good. Pizza's a pretty easy dish to make, but I mean, it's what we make probably the most, so that's what I'm showing you how to make. Maybe in the future, if there's uh, more requests for us to make food, even if it's easy and a boxed meal or something, I mean, I'll, I'll show you guys. I mean, you guys wanted to see, like, the editing stuff, so I showed you how I edit the videos. Now you want to see how I make pizza? This is how I make pizza. So at this point, you would be good to put on uh, whatever you want. Normally, me and Mal want different types of toppings, so we just kind of split it straight down. One half is hers, one half is mine, but this time we're doing salmon, so we're going to cut this thing up. Put it out on our cutting board. We have a cutting board. Fantastic. And we've never obviously done put this on pizza before, but I would imagine that since we are baking it, we want to make the strips really thin because you're not baking it as long as you would do real salmon. So I'm going to cut it pretty pretty thin. So now we got this cut up into various shapes and sizes, but thin because we need it thin. And now we put it on the pizza. Now, as I said before, normally I would try and separate uh, things a little bit just because me and Mallory normally have different toppings. But in this scenario, uh, we're eating the same thing, so it doesn't really matter. Also, I cut these so thin that there's like a million pieces, so uh, there's going to be salmon, like, all over the pizza. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be... I think it's either going to be really good or we're going to hate it. It's probably not going to be a neutral feeling towards this. What are we going to do if we hate it? Chinese. All right, so this looks pretty good. Um, it's very much covered in salmon. Once again, this could completely suck. But remember, up to this point... 
this has been good. I mean, you can follow what we did up to the, the toppings, put whatever you want on it, but most of you should at least understand the general concept of the creation of pizza. Now comes arguably the most difficult part, putting it into the oven. Why do you have an oven? Oh. So what we're going to do is we are going to easily, carefully, slide this onto the rack. There we go. So that worked out pretty well. And uh, like I said before, I always cook these on 375 for 16 minutes. You might want to change that depending on how your, your oven, oven works. Oven works in case you have like those super ovens where Superman is inside and he's like, Nyeh! I don't know. Does Superman have heat vision? Does he? I don't know anything about Superman. I disappointed a lot of people. I'm sorry. Huh. Salmon pizza. Uh, now, once it's done, 16 minutes are up, I usually put it on broil for just uh, maybe a minute or two. It helps brown the top a bit. So I'm going to let that go for a minute or two, and then hopefully we will have delicious, hopefully it's delicious, salmon pizza. And here is our finished product. Now, if you guys don't like salmon, this probably looks really gross. To me, this actually looks pretty good. Unfortunately, there's no way to know what it tastes like without tasting it. Now, I had smoked salmon the other night at the local restaurant here in Columbia. They used white sauce instead of red sauce. Personally, I'm a bigger fan of red sauce, so I just use red sauce. I figured I'm either going to like it or not, so let's just give it a shot. We have it cut, plated. I think we should try it at the same time. What do you think? Weird. Not awful. Mm hmm not awful, but different. Anyway, that's how uh, we make pizza here on Stephen Vlog, and uh, make it our way, which is pretty much every way. You put sauce, cheese, and the topping on some crust, and you put it in the oven. If you want to try salmon, go for it, but uh, otherwise, just do it your own way. So yeah. I like green peppers and tomatoes. And I like pepperoni and mushroom, although we're also big fans of Hawaiian, which is uh, ham and pineapple, as well as uh, margarita, which is uh, cheese medallions, basil and tomato, which is also good. Anyway, that's uh, that's it for this extra video, so thanks for watching, and uh, see ya.